Okay, I've got a few questions for us today. Question number one, is prayer and fasting important? Question number two, is prayer and fasting effective? Question number three, do we find the connection between prayer and fasting in the Bible? And the final question, question number four, should the church be engaged in corporate prayer and fasting today? right now in our time? Well, the answer to every one of these questions is yes. Yes, 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 yes. Prayer and fasting, yes. Throughout Scripture, we encounter God's people engaged in a combination of both prayer and fasting together. Let's look at Nehemiah, for instance. Nehemiah was filled with grief and despair. Why? Because of the desolation of Jerusalem. And so what did he do in his despair, in his grief? He prayed and he fasted together. Now let's look at Daniel. You know the guy in the lion's den, right? So Daniel also responded to the devastation in his nation by doing what? Praying and fasting. In Daniel chapter 9, verse 3, it records Daniel saying, he said, So I turned to the Lord God. I pleaded with him, how? In prayer, in petition, and in fasting, and in sackcloth and ashes. What's the common denominator? Why do people pray and fast together? Well, here it is. When the times are desperate, when the times are tough, when it looks like all the wheels are falling off, that's when it's time for the people of God to pray and fast. Do you all feel like maybe that's going on a little bit right now? The wheels may be falling off a little bit in our nation. It's time for the people of God to come together to pray and fast. In fact, the more critical the situation, the more appropriate and the more necessary it is to pray and to fast together. Now look at this. It's not just an Old Testament thing. Jesus even prayed and He fasted. He's the Son of God. He's God incarnate, walking on this earth. Yet He felt the need to bring these two, these two elements together, praying and fasting he prayed and he fasted before launching into his earthly ministry. And then he teaches us about praying and fasting. We discover it in, in, in a couple of Gospels. The Gospel of Mark chapter 9, Jesus cast out a demon from the boy. The disciples, his disciples tried to cast out this demon. They'd been successful at casting out demons before, but for some reason this demon they couldn't cast out. And so they, they, go, to, they go to Jesus, why couldn't we cast out this demon? What happened? All of our attempts, they failed. So Jesus, in the Gospel of Matthew, He says, well, this kind, in other words, this is a special kind of demon, apparently. This kind only comes out by prayer. But then in the Gospel of, of Matthew, in Matthew's account of this, we see more of the picture as Jesus adds the phrase, and fasting. This particular kind of demon only comes out with prayer and fasting. That's in Matthew 17, 21. And so there appears to be some demons in some situations in our life that, that are more serious and where we need to maybe get a little more serious. See, essentially, Jesus told His disciples that when there's a determined foe, we got to meet that determined foe with an equally determined faith. Let me say it again. When there's a determined foe, a spiritual foe coming against us, that's the time when we need to meet that, 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 that spiritual foe with equally determined faith. Now, we understand that prayer, big-time weapon in spiritual warfare. Ephesians 6.18 talks about that. But there are times when we need to add to our prayer fasting. Why? I'll tell you one reason why. It helps us focus in our time of prayer, and it gives us extra resolve. So, do we find ourselves, like right here, right now, 2020, do we find ourselves in a situation that, that maybe is a little intense? That, that maybe, just maybe, needs some focused prayer and fasting? Come on, we got to say yes. We got to say yes. Look around. We got COVID. We got riots. We got cities burning. We got racial tensions. We got churches being told to stay closed. And if they don't, they're threatened with fines and with jail time. We got depression. We got suicide. We got hopelessness. And we even have anarchy in our streets as we have these spiritual forces of darkness trying to divide us. They're pitting us against one another. And you bet, prayer and fasting is needed right now. Prayer and fasting has got to be on the menu for the church right now. See what I did there? Fasting on the menu? Anyway, I know. 
doesn't make sense, but it does make sense. It, if we want things to change, we got to pray and we got to fast. We got to come together and do these things. If we're desperate for God's kingdom to come on earth, like right now in our world, in our nation right now as it is in heaven, then we got to come together, church, in prayer and fasting. And we're called to do this together, unified, purposeful as the body of Christ. So what's this going to look like at Evident Life Church? Well, regularly we pray. You know that we have regular prayer meetings every single week. I want to encourage you to join me in those prayer meetings. But we also have times of fasting, and we're going to have one of those this month. In fact, we're going to be joining churches and believers throughout our nation for 10 days of prayer, fasting, and repentance. We're going to be starting with the biblical feast of the trumpets and then ending 10 days later with the Day of Atonement. These specific dates are September 18th through September 28th. 10 days of prayer and fasting. We're going to get you more information about how to fast, different types of fasts that you can engage in so that we can do this together. Now, this prayer and fasting movement we're, we're joining alongside with is called The Return. It's called The Return. Here's some information about it on the screen right now. The Return. It's a cry for our nation to return to the Lord. And man, oh man, do we ever need this right now. So again, stay tuned for more information. Begin preparing yourself. Begin preparing your heart even your body for this time of prayer and fasting, beginning September 18th for 10 days. We're going to join together. We're going to do this together. Our nation needs it. Church, God bless you. I love you. May you be filled with hope and joy even this day because Jesus is Lord. To the glory of the Father, Jesus is Lord. Have an amazing day.